Hey guys, welcome back here to Comageddon with my toy review. This today, this week, I got two toys for you. Uh, first up, we have a Mega-like figure in the form of a real Ghostbusters animated Peter Venkman. Uh, pretty cool figure. Uh, he comes with uh, an awesome animated version of the Proton Pack. I want to go over that when we get to the accessories here shortly. Uh, he's decked out this time though. What looks like in the movie version of the uh, Ghostbusters outfit, instead of his blue um, animated version. Also, to note, this is the talking Peter Bankman. There's actually a button here, which the batteries are currently dead. This is not a fresh out of package um, figure, so I don't have a package to show you that he came in. <coughs> so, um, with it being a Mego like figure, um, he, of course, he's going to have plenty of cool articulation. Let's go over that real quick. Uh, so we have the head here, which is just on a regular peg. It moves from left to right. Uh, we have the arms that go up and down. However, you notice in his uniform, it's going to hinder it a bit because it is a cloth uniform. But they do go up and down. They do bend at the elbow joint and they have wrist bend. And check that out, wrist wiggle back and forth. Like the other one does it as well. Also has a swivel. Um, his legs also go up and down and go moving out because it's not on a ball joint it's on a um, kind of like a cloth rubber band which explains this yeah you can probably get him doing a pretty good twerk there so um, but surprisingly though I have not had too many issues standing this guy up so you may be able to get a few good poses like I said these are just my legs on this figure here um, <coughs> So, uh, let's talk about accessories. Uh, he does come with his animated classic Proton Pack here. You can see a lot of details in this. It's all paint deco. The wires are painted. We got some yellow, yellow over here. And of course we got the crossbar down there, which is nice painted, nice, nice gray. It's on this uh, plastic uh, coiled wire, which is cool. And Bankman can hold his gun. So. It's just uh, easy. It fits in his right hand, like so. And you can pose him to get it over into the other hand here, no problem, usually. So you can get a full on pose. I'm not sure how I did it last time with so much, without so much. Issue. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and I got his entire uniform off. And uh, just to kind of see what he looks like, you'll notice that the armbands here, uh, Shan, if you want to zoom in. See that the armbands here uh, are removable and they're a separate piece from the uniform, which in the which is it's held down by Velcro in the back. His belt is also removable. Uh, his backpack, which there's no easy way to get the backpack off, you really do just have to kind of slide it down, but, but removable. His boots, removable, and so here we have. A Peter Venkman that's about ready to go swimming. <laughs> he does look kind of goofy without the uniform on. Um, and also, this is a uh, talking Venkman. So we have the battery pack here. You need to take a screwdriver, uh, take the batteries out, replace them. And here's the little button in the speaker. This one, batteries are dead, obviously. But uh, there you go. That is our Peter Venkman out of you. Had a little bit of issues getting it, but there we go. He's holding his classic gun. And you can get them to stand and put people up poses. So it's not a gun, it's a wand. Proton wand, sorry. So there you go, there is the talking uh, Peter Bankman real Ghostbuster action figure. Now, putting him aside. So on Facebook, I posted some pictures kind of uh, hinting at what I'm going to be reviewing today, and this is it. Here's the reveal the return of the Mattel slime. Back in the 80s, Mattel was known for bringing out, of course, Master Universe with a lot of different slime-oriented uh, uh, playsets, such as the Slime Pit, and they brought out their own slime. Well, since Mattel is currently doing the uh, Ghostbuster merchandise and the toys, we get a brand new return of the Mattel slime. And I'll get over why this is so awesome and important in just a moment. Um, we have here in stores now, a slime set that comes with 
these little mini Venkman. See, they have uh, these little, they're called Ecto Minis. Uh, and they brought out two different versions of the slime set here. There's the classic green, uh, and then there's more of a uh, pink, uh, pink lid set, but the slime inside is more purple, reminiscent of the Ghostbusters 2 slime. <coughs> this one, though, I just got the classics. Um, it comes on a set kind of like this, except this is on top, and and Peter, our exclusive Peter Venkman is on the inside, and I'll go over that in just a minute. First off, let us go over the little mini figs. Now, these mini fig here is all part of the uh, classic Ghostbusters Ecto Minis blind mystery packs. So I'm going to set this aside, and we're going to go over those. So right here we go. I opened all mine up already. Uh, this is what the classic Ghostbusters ones look like. Uh, there's are, there are ones for the new Ghostbusters movie coming out. It's very kind of orange and black and green looking. Uh, it'll have uh, the slime located here. But this is for the classics. This is where you're going to get Peter, Egon, and all those Slimer terror dogs. And on the cover here, you will see, this is pretty much your checklist right here. You get 12 figures, and then there's supposed to be a mystery figure. I have not seen anybody online do a review of it. I don't even know what this thing looks like or what it is. I don't even know if anybody has this. I'm almost kind of beginning to think that maybe this is just to represent that it's a mystery figure inside the bag. I don't know. I looked at a checklist. I didn't see anything uh, revealing of a mystery figure. But this is what it kind of indicates there is. Uh, but this is pretty much what they all uh, look like in the package. And you open it up, which is nothing in this one, to reveal an awesome Ghostbusters minifig here. So here we go. Uh, this is pretty much what they look like. Uh, they're really cool. They have pretty much anywhere from one to no articulation. Now, some of these, their heads slightly move. And I don't have any of the ghosts, so I don't have Slimer or the Terror Dogs. I know the Terror Dogs don't move, but the Slimers, their arms move up and down. One, they're not together, but you know, that's kind of cool. Um, each is supposed to have some type of a glow in a dark feature. Um, here we have the, the odd, oddly the green heads, um, which the only thing I can think of is red is supposed to kind of be a nod to the real Ghostbusters uh, episode where their uniforms come to life because they were slimed by Gozer. And I think that's what these guys are supposed to be. I think they're supposed to be the evil spirit counterparts of the Ghostbusters. I'm not too sure, but they are kind of cool. And, what was the name of that episode, John? Uh, the episode was called Citizen Ghost. So uh, you could probably find it on YouTube, but uh, you can check out the DVDs, which we're going to review later on. Um, so here I have basically the essential regular versions of the original Ghostbusters, except for this exclusive Peter, who's, as you can see, is painted slimed. And I'll go over that reason in just a moment here. But I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of the cool little mini figs here. And I give you the minifigs because we're going to go back to the slime. So, this comes packaged uh, together. Uh, this on top of this. This slimer here is actually going to be on top of this right here. Um, at first, you're not sure why it comes off, but then, of course, you figure out it's a cover for the slime so it doesn't dry out. And you unwraps Peter. And you put Peter here in the cup, like so. I'm going to show you how this awesome slime thing works. You'll see the cover has many holes in it, and it just clips right on top, just like so. So then what we do is we take out our awesome slime. And I'm telling you guys, this is awesome. Look at that. Look at that. That is so cool. I think Shannon and I were playing with this a little bit earlier. And I'm telling you, look at this. This is this right here is classic Mattel slime. Look at this. How cool is that? Oh, look at the stretchiness of it. Oh, it's so cool to actually have this back in stores. Look at that. And it's getting all over me. I love it. I used to love playing with slime when I was a kid because I wasn't allowed to because it was so messy. <laughs> 
somebody blows their nose and you want to keep it. So look at that, I'm having issues already trying to get it back in the, uh, in the, in the tube here. <laughs> so I got some on my hands, no. So uh, here's what we're gonna do. You take your tube of slime. Give me just a moment here. I blew my nose, ew. <laughs> I'm having lots of fun with this slime. So you take a tube of slime and you put it like so and clip it and watch this folks it's coming down it's oozing Peter oh no thank you Shannon oh it's oozing him it's gonna slime him look at that very slowly very slowly look at that he's all the way around he's getting covered in slime he slimed me Ray <laughs> He's just getting covered in slime. <laughs> and you can see it, it's oozing down in the front. And so, yeah. How's it smell, John? It smells horrible, just like the old Mattel slime. And you can see the tube is filling up with slime. It does take forever, but he does look really cool because he is getting totally slimed right there. So, and of course, then you can just... Uh, Tip it back over. There we go. And just let it, let it ooze back in. There we go. <laughs> it does take forever, I'll tell you that, but we don't have forever. So, what I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of undo this a little bit. Um, <laughs> it is oozy. It is slimy. On both ends. So we'll just, I'll just do that. Come on. Oh no. back down and Peter's head is fully in the <laughs> there we go <laughs> it really does feel like that uh, scene from Ghostbusters where Peter collects the uh, ectoplasm e e e e <laughs> so it's pretty cool we can go ahead and just kind of Get that out of there. Um, the Ghostbuster mystery packs, uh, I will say, usually go for about three bucks a pack. There's one figure per pack. Um, so, I mean, it's not too bad. It's not a big, you know, and, and you get quite, uh, if you're a Ghostbuster fan, it's kind of cool. Um, <laughs> the uh, slime pack here, however, um, is a little pricey for what I think it should be honestly um, the the slime goes for about 10 bucks um, you can do get the two cops you get the slime and you do get the exclusive uh, Venkman pre-slimed pack really slimy <laughs> this is so cool um, and of course the fun part is cleaning them up afterwards. <laughs> All right. So, well guys, I'm going to leave Peter standing right there. Now he's going to go back in the slime. You need more paper towels, will you? He's going to he's going to go back in the slime. So, like I said, uh 3 bucks for the single packs, 10 for the slime. Um, not too bad of a deal. I wish the slime was a little less expensive, like maybe 5 bucks. I think would be a fair amount. Uh, again, they do have the green version. There's a pink version that comes with a female Slimer uh, with a little bow in her. I guess they're calling her Miss Slimer. And uh, these are available at Walmart. That's why I picked these up. So, and the mini packs are actually selling pretty damn well right now. So they're going pretty quick. Uh, I say hurry up, grab them when you can. Um, so there you go, my friends. Happy hunting and 
Who are you going to call? The Metella Slime. Because you're awesome. Master Universe Slime Pit. I'm going to do that right now. I'll catch you guys later.